where they regrouped. Soon, Arafat would be strong enough to become a power broker in Lebanon and continue his attacks on Israelis. The Olympic Games stand still. The flags in the stadium at half-mast. The citizens of Munich the thousands of competitors and officials. Palestinian guerrillas crowned a year of terrorist attacks by storming the Olympic Village. This hastily conceived memorial ceremony. 11 Israeli athletes were killed as the world watched. Israel retaliated with a pinpoint operation. An Israeli commando force landed on a beach near Beirut. Their targets were PLO leaders, particularly those responsible for Munich. Arafat, who was working late at the PLO's busy headquarters, escaped. But the guerrillas who planned and carried out the Munich operation were killed. At the funerals, the Palestinians and their Muslim allies erupted in fury. <laughs> to everyone's astonishment, this man turned up at the funeral. Pierre Jamal, Christian Maronite leader, suspected by some Palestinians of collaborating with Israel. Jamal led a Christian militia, the Falange. He warned Arafat to stay out of his conflict with the Lebanese Muslims. Pierre Jamal thought hard before attending the funeral. The security people of the Falange warned him not to go. They said Pierre Jamal would be in danger. In April 1975, Civil war broke out in Lebanon, and Arafat became a force to be reckoned with. He asked for a meeting with Jamal at the Christian clan leader's headquarters. As Arafat drove through Beirut, it was clear that the Christians considered him an enemy. We drove past slogans on the walls saying, no to the PLO. He laughed and said to me, we must do something about this or Lebanon will explode. The civil war escalated. Arafat aligned himself with the Muslims, while Christians sought the help of Israel. The Christian leader then gave the PLO an ultimatum. We are asking the Palestinians to stay quiet if they want to remain in Lebanon, to stay quiet in Lebanon. I don't think that we are going to accept in the future that any war can be waged from uh, Lebanon, uh, from the Lebanon borders, because this, uh, and the past experience has proved it, this will prove disastrous for Lebanon. Arafat ignored the warning. 1974 had seen a succession of Palestinian raids across the border into Israel. In one attack, 18 Israelis, including eight children, died. A month later, Palestinian raiders took over a school and killed 22 children. 